Okay, I'm going to show you uh, this damage that I found in the hot section of this engine. It is, I guess, deterioration of the metal. It's, you know, I don't know, 60 years old, you know, 54, 1954. Uh, the, the turbine nozzle is deteriorating in a, on a couple of the airfoils, and there's actually uh, a complete break in the metal. Uh, where the outer end of the foil attaches, no, I'm sorry, the root of the foil attaches to the inner ring of the turbine nozzle. As you can see looking in there, the turbine blades kind of block view of the nozzle. So I really will have to, if you look through there, you can actually, if you know what you're looking for, there's actually about three right in this spot right here. I guess this would be, if this is nine o'clock, this strut. We're going to say just south of the 9 o'clock, so we're going to say 8.30, 8.7.30. I don't know, more like maybe 8, 8.15, 8.30, 8.40. Right in that spot here on the clock dial. The three of the stator or nozzle blades are burnt through and not attached any longer at their root or inner end toward the inner center of the engine and due to maybe there's a it's been hot there a lot and it's weakened and or maybe it's just age everywhere else it looks really good but I really have to spin the engine to get a good view so I crank it with a starter and to do that I'll set this on the tripod aim the camera in there and we will have it I'll have to set the camera on the tripod and then focus it in the back, spin the engine with the starter, and give you some light so you can see. And we'll see the damage I'm talking about. My, my goal is to repair it. My goal is to repair it this winter, hopefully get it fixed, and then we'll have it running for next summer. See what happens from there. Okay, well, thanks uh, for tuning in on this one. Well, as you can clearly see, there is damage to be repaired. So this winter, uh, I think as I said earlier, uh, we'll remove the engine from this uh, stand and we'll disassemble the hot section, get to the uh, nozzle, remove it, and see if we can repair it. While it's removed, we'll look further inside the engine uh, and see if there's any other problems. Um, it really isn't that hard to tear it on down because this engine as I stated earlier, it's pretty simple. Um, we can look, this has an, uh, an annular combustor, combustor, so maybe it's a possibility that there's a spot where there's an erosion there and some extra heat is coming through hotter than everywhere else and it's concentrated in that particular location. Don't know. But once we remove the nozzle, we'll be able to see what's behind that or I should say in front of that, sorry, toward the front of the engine. Everything else uh, is in pretty good shape, looks good, so I'm hoping if I can get that repaired this thing will be ready to go. And of course I will try to document and video all the steps I can and get it down to some watchable material. Well, I appreciate everybody's support and viewing and your comments. Uh, I'm sure uh, Agent Jay-Z will be looking at that damage and having his input, which I would welcome.
uh, thanks again for watching and we will see you on the next few beep so thanks again for watching and we'll see you on the next one